I want a small but strong government, so I want things that are smart. For example, I'd love to have more Border Patrol agents and less IRS agents. So where it makes sense to increase the volume of government agents, as long as it is pursuing a couple things that are core to my philosophy. A strong country that has borders, sovereignty, culture, and maintains a moral commitment to its citizens that you should be able to work hard, play by the rules, be able to have a family, own a home, and see rising income and wages. Those are very basic things in a social contract. Why is... Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are tuned in from. Today, we have another amazing video by Charlie Cook titled Charlie Cook Triggered Libra Student on Inflation. Wow, I believe this is going to be an interesting one. So, let's start with the video. Go. Um, I want to say by starting off, I was told by your wonderful assistant over here that I should tell you that I disagree with almost everything. Obviously, we have not had a two hour almost. conversation. So like, who knows, who knows, maybe we had a few beers, we agree on something, but I'll have, wa now, I'll have water, I've, you can have whatever all you I've, want. All so. I've heard is stuff that I'm just like, what? Um, first, <laughs> I want to say that I guess as the first two hours of your speech was you complaining about kind of these leftists and kind of this, but I've never heard any policy positions. When I go to something like a, a Senator Sanders convention or someone on the left, they're going to talk about health care, inequality, inflation, uh, growth, but you guys all seem to want to talk about is how the left does this or the left does that, but no policies on how to fix anything. So I guess that kind of goes with my first question is, what is the GOP's actual position when it comes to fixing inflation? Well, for, let me, a couple things. First of all, okay. I'm not a senator, nor am I aspiring to be one. Number two, yes, I was mildly distracted by the windows being broken and the terrorists outside. I fully acknowledge that, okay? So I was a little policy shallow tonight and a little bit terrorist deep, okay? I'll fully, I, I, will, I will admit that. Um, Third, I'll say this, I don't speak for the GOP, right? I have my own ideas, and I actually think the GOP does a terrible job. But let me give you some ideas that I think you might agree with, okay? I think that vital products should be made in America, not in China. And we should use tariffs and sanctions to get it done. <laughs> Vitamin C, penicillin, critical infrastructure should be manufactured here. I think American college graduates should be given preference to go work for American companies above foreign workers. And that means reforming the H-1B system and actually giving you, the American college educated kids, a preference because we have a moral obligation to our own citizens over the citizens of another country. I think we should fully close the United States southern border. I think we should not allow illegal... I, I just want to interrupt you. Sorry. You were saying you're for a government program that puts American college students. So like, no, no, reforming the immigration system, right? So that big companies like Facebook don't do quasi indentured servitude to bring foreign workers in and be able to compete but government against- would, gov That would be a government program that would do that. Well, yeah, the government program actually already exists. Okay, so you're yeah. actually a conservative who's for increasing the government size, not for- Well, no, I want a small but strong government. So I want things that are smart. For example, I'd love to have more border patrol agents and less IRS agents. So where it makes sense to increase the volume of government agents, as long as it is pursuing a couple things that are core to my philosophy. A strong country that has borders, sovereignty, culture, and maintains a moral commitment to its citizens that you should be able to work hard, play by the rules, be able to have a family, own a home, and see rising income and wages. Those are very basic things in a social contract. Why is the increasing IRS agents, which are taxes that belong to us, they help pay for things like roads, GPS, infrastructure, basic right. things they, that they, you they and yourself need to get here. But yeah, why so. would that be against? Why would that be so bad? Having everyone pay their fair share of taxes, so we can have a government that functions correctly. Well, Obviously, for, government does work for everything, but we all benefit from government services every day. In the I, basic I'm sorry, service. no one in this room is going to benefit from 87,000 new IRS agents. And so, those 87,000 new IRS agents are going to be deployed against small business owners. But I could keep on going with policy examples. I can keep on building it out. But let me just say this: I love markets but I'm willing to critique markets when I think they're not serving people and they're not serving the nation. I think our overindulgence in free trade fanaticism has been a major mistake over the last 20 or 30 years. I don't worship corporations, but I do think that entrepreneurs and private property rights and people taking risks are a general good for society. And not only does history show this, but common sense logic and you know, material reality shows all this. I can give you more and more examples if you want of policy stuff. That's less actually interesting. The reason I don't go through policy stuff is again, whoa, is that I'm not running for office, right? I don't represent the Republican Party, but if I can build out a worldview that you can agree with, then the policy answers will come naturally, right? So if you understand morals 
and values, then you could answer the next 1,000 policy student, questions. I guess for me, I care a lot more about policy than what people say. Like, like what government does is a lot more important to me, and that's why I was confused why your speech was not about policy. Because, again, I'm but not anyway, running for office. I want to ask one more question before so, I go. Um, I guess for us, there used to be a thing called the middle class, or the idea of a growing and strong middle class. Yep. And I feel like for the past 10 years, especially on the right, maybe on the left too, for the more neoliberal left, but the right, that idea is kind of shrunken. I don't think there's a lot of talk in middle class. Do you view income inequality as a problem? I totally and disagree. Income inequality, I want to so, say income inequality being the difference between the Let me ask you, though. And the I, I have a question. Why is it that the wealthiest counties in America all vote on the left? Because that's where all the... How money works now, capitalism works, is how all, where all the wealth is where all the people want to be. But like, so if, Silicon Valley is all the jobs wh and all that Why stuff. do they vote liberal then if the left... Well, what, in what ways do they vote liberal? Not on taxes, not on for, things that I am for. They vote for socially, Joe Biden, they vote for Nancy they're left, Pelosi. They're, they're socially so, left, but they're not economically left. Believe me, I've, if you go to the Bay Area, they are very economically right. Dianne Feinstein is not left, in my opinion. So it's, it may be left socially, but I don't think they're left in my point of view. Yeah, but so, so then let me ask you then, why is it that the muscular class in America has shifted right over the last seven years? Not according to the midterms. I mean, you guys, you guys tanked on the midterms okay, most recently. Okay, you keep so on like, saying you guys. I don't represent sorry, the Republican my, Party. My apologies. But the, I, just, I, the, I just want to critique one of your misguided premises, which is that somehow the right is not representing middle class voters. It's the opposite. Actually, states that were tradi are traditionally blue-collar, muscular class, middle class states are now solid red states. Look at Ohio. Ohio is a state that used to be far left, and now it's more in the right direction. So what is the right actually doing about it? To answer your question, a couple things. We're rejecting neoliberalism. Like, how about this? We shouldn't send $200 billion to Ukraine, and we should instead represent our own people and close our own border. That's number one. Number two. Number two is that we should be unafraid to use tariffs and sanctions to say that critical infrastructure and things that matter should be made here in America. Whether the, the delusion on the left, and I just want to challenge you on this, is that the left has a bunch of people that talk a good game, AOC and Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden, but when it really matters, they're nothing more than neoliberal shills that are willing to invade other countries, invite them into our country, and then lie to their voters under the veneer of social liberalism. The populist movement in America that represents real people, muscular class teachers, police officers, and firefighters, it lives on the American right because we listen to our constituents and we're willing to fight for ideas like terror tariffs, sanctions, closed border, and no more money to Ukraine, the left is shilling for all those things. Okay. Thank you for being here tonight. I appreciate it. Got to the next, getting to the next one. Thank you. Can I just ask, is, is, is the difference between the mean and the median? Income inequality, uh, there, is that a problem There's 50 you people guys? in line. Thank you. Is that a uh, income inequality is a big issue, which is exactly why I support the things that I said. Next question. Wow. What a very interesting debate. As you can tell, it's really got eaten to an extent and you can tell uh, Charlie was a little bit quite offended because it looks like uh, the gentleman who asked the question was trying to corner Charlie Kick, was trying to frame Charlie Kick up as a politician and you know in his question uh, he keep on saying them but Charlie Kick tried to you know try to uh, explain to him that he's not a politician and it's not aspiring to be a politician. Uh, he said, you know, he, oh, he's, oh, oh, he's just giving his own opinion. But uh, if you are expecting him to go there and fix the problem, it's not, in, it's not his job to, to go out there and fix, the, uh, and fix the problem. He's giving his own opinion. And just, just as he's giving his own opinion, with time, with time, uh, the policies, the policies that, with time, policies will be set in place. He just wants his voice to be heard, to to be heard, uh, to be heard, so people can do the the the, the right thing. And Charlie Kick was trying to trying to uh, make uh, make the gentleman understand that is it make uh, the gentleman understand that vital products should be produced in America, products like vitamin, product like vitamin C, and you know they should be produced in America and. Instead of uh, instead of inviting people from other country, uh, inviting people from other com country to come and work, American graduates, American graduate from the American college should be given privileges, should be priv given privileges, and you know, instead of uh, giving loan, uh, sending money to other countries like Ukraine, 
this money should be uh, should be invested in America, invested to better America up. So I think I kind of agree with Charlie Kick. I kind of agree with Charlie Kick because I don't see a reason why we are why someone that is known as a, 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 as a citizen of America, uh, he has gone through college. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, you are giving you are giving someone that's uh, from outside America a uh, more privilege to be employed rather than employing someone that is actually from America, someone that has graduated, paid that have C to E that he paid all the huge amount he spent on school fees, and at the end of the day, uh, he uh, he's, he's looking for job. I kind of I really I really agree with Charlie Kick. He also mentioned a point that products products that are being produced in china uh they should be produced in america and i for one i believe america as a country have all the resources america as a country have all the resources i don't think america are lacking uh if there's something to be produced i believe those things uh can be produced in america because there are a lot of graduate art there that you know as 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 uh, the requirements to embark on such projects. So instead, they should be they should be given the opportunity. They should be financed, given the opportunity, and I believe this will help to grow a better. This will help to grow a better America. I believe this is a point that Charlie Cake is 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 trying to explain. I, although I think at a point uh in the debate uh i see charlie kick was a little bit a little bit offended uh because uh the gentleman was trying to was trying to frame charlie kick was trying to corner him was trying to classify him as a uh, as a politician was trying to classify him as a politician was trying to hold him responsible that they are not doing what the the, the they're supposed to do but charlie kick is trying to explain to him that he doesn't ask to give any accounts to anyone because it's not a politician. It's not. It's not his job to do that. He's just giving his own opinion. He's just giving his own opinion to educate people. And I kind of agree with all the points that Charlie Kick has uh, has given. Charlie Kick, I kind of agree with all the points that Charlie Kick has given to make a better America. Uh, they have to create an an, an environment whereby uh, those those that has gone through the uh, the college can get a job to do instead of uh, bringing bringing people from from other countries to come and to come and work. They should rather employ those that have finished those that has graduated from from college in America. And I believe. American as a country, I for one, I don't think they are lacking anything. I don't think they are lacking anything. I believe all this goose, all this product that are being sourced from China, I believe they can be produced in America if they are uh, either uh, the, 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 if, uh, if, if they are, if they can be produced in America. If they are to finance those that has the talent, I believe all these products can be produced in America. Wow, this indeed was a heated debate, and I kind of, I kind of, uh, 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 I kind of agree with Charlie Charlie Cook point, and I believe this is very educative. I don't think, I don't think, uh, this, this, the, I don't think the points Charlie Cook has given should 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 be attributed to only America. I believe. Even other countries like Germany, like Australia, I believe they should also do. They should also do the same. You know, a lot of countries uh, want to want to source their product from China or from other countries when they have the talent in that country. Instead of putting instead of putting the graduate into use by creating more job by creating more job financing the talent of the of the graduate, they rather. They rather import those goods from outside country. I don't think that is on. I don't think that is acceptable. I, I believe uh, a, a country should should help support and promote the dream of its people. Wow, I've really learned a lot from this. I would like to hear your comments. What do you think about Charlie Kick Point? And which other video would you want me to also check out? Don't forget, click on the subscribe button. Click on the like button. Do have a nice day. Bye.